Good day students, I would like to welcome you to the DEC CA211 course. This is the diploma course. So you have advanced now from the certificate course to the diploma course. My name is Miss Claudia Maritzane. My contact details are 081-854-8166. My email address is maritzanec at gmail.com if you have questions. An email and the contact hours are from 1900 p.m. to 2000 p.m. weekdays only and kindly note no calling during office hours while I'm busy with my work you have your spe specified time slots that you can contact me this presentation will assign you to work on the three examinations that are coming up for 2021. Now this scope of presentation cannot be limited and you must study all the work that is specified in May, August and November examinations. Go through your manual. What are the aims of this module for you as a student? <clears throat> Art education stimulates learners creativity, self-expression, problem solving, Explain some basic visual art perspectives. Describe, demonstrate how to draw pictures. Examine important aspects of early childhood music. Now you must observe the level of questioning and you must understand what each question requires from you by focusing on keywords that are used in the question. For example, to describe, to explain, to name, to list, to state, etc. And you must read the questions correctly in order to answer the questions. Write neatly, clearly, and consider grammatical correctness. Answer what is required. Read the instructions on the question papers and strictly follow numbering of questions in the question paper. Also look at the marks that are allocated for each question to determine how many facts to write to obtain the correct marks. So if you are, for example, answering a discussed question and you are just giving short phrases, you will not obtain the correct marks for that specific question. So try. If it's discussed, you have to learn those objectives. If you are not sure about an answer, move to the next question and you can always come back at a later stage to do that. Now these are sample questions that are based on the learning outcomes that are in your manual. The first one is explain ways how you can incorporate play in your class. First of all, you have to create that platform. You have to create the play-based learning centers. Having play materials available is the first step. And then you add more playing into your routine. Use manipulatives. Young learners are concrete learners who learn by doing. And they will remember better. Play games with the learners. Use games to practice and review some concepts. The next one is the disadvantage of using music in the classroom. You know, the adjacent classrooms might complain that music is too loud, it is disturbing. Teachers can lose control of learners very easily. If each learner just because of the music is playing, just stand up and start, dan start, start dancing where they are, it can disrupt the class. The vocabulary in the song that you choose, you have to make sure that it's suitable for this age group. When we do plays or dramas, we use masks and we use costumes. So you have to explain the value of using costumes and masks for school plays, emphasizing on the foot and the on the feet and the lower body. When we wear shoes, different shoes, we work differently. High heels work in a different way. When you are wearing the boots, the sneakers, 
each shoe that you put on has a purpose. Some of them are protecting your feet, etc. So people walk differently in boots, in sneakers, in heeled shoes, in sandals, bare feet. That is now on the lower body. In general, you should avoid wearing flip-flops on stage as they are noisy and they do not provide good attraction. Heeled shoes can also be noisy, both on stage and off the stage. So you have to explain that value of the correct shoes, the correct lower body part uh, attire that one can put on. Now the skirt and dresses. People sit, stand, move differently depending on the length of and fit of the skirt. It is important that learners wearing skirt and dresses wear appropriate undergarments to avoid wardrobe, wardrobe malfunctions. So you have to explain that purpose also. What are the steps that one can, be, can follow if you want to go in the career music? You as a teacher must guide this learner and you have to know. First of all, you must set for yourself goals for 12 months. In these 12 months, what do I want to achieve? The music skills play great um, at any condition. If you promote your music, but how are you going to promote it? You're going to use social media, you're going to use WhatsApp groups, are you going to use um, Facebook, for example, to make yourself, the people aware of your music, to you promote yourself? The pressure, are you going to be mentally stable and don't promise anything in public until, until you get it? Those are the things that you have to look at if you are interested in a career for music. There are a lot more you can elaborate. Now the, the dough in the classroom, the hands are involved, the eyes are involved. Skills that the learner takes out when he takes that dough and he starts crafting something. Now the child acquires a sense of his body by creating representative models like the clay figures. A child uses his or her senses of touch, sight and smell. Now using the dough and the clay develops coordination of the hand and the eyes. It perfects the dis dissociation of the hand, the thumbs, the fingers. When are you going to use the thumb to press on this dough or the middle finger or the little finger? Those are the things that, that are needed for the child to figure out while he's busy with the dough. It builds strength in the arms the rest and the fingers because the muscle groups of the fingers and the hands are involved. Now we have type of background music that we play during different lessons. The same applies to when you go and you are visiting a psychologist or you go for a, a body massage. They are background music that are being played. So music is very important. Now, what are the background music that you can play in your classroom? Classical music, what is the purpose of it? It brings peaceful and harm harmonious spirit. There is evidence that Mozart music improves mental performance, so that music is very good. The thematical uh, skills are being triggered in the child with the Mozart effect. So you have to know the type of background music that you can play in your classroom. What are the benefits integrated with painting? Now painting helps learners to communicate their emotions. If a learner just start taking a paper and start drawing uh, a figure and it's just black paint, then the spirit of this learner is, is not good. So you as a teacher must be able to pick that one up. The lighter colors, the bright colors, it shows happiness and, and, and the learner is open. Painting allows learners an educational opportunity. Helps learners to acquire hand and eye coordination. 
painting aids learners develop mobility skills. So you must be able to identify those benefits and name them. We are having, having type of shapes that can be found in a man-made world. Everywhere you look around, you will find different shapes. Circles, triangles, rectangles, oval, those shapes you must be able to mention them. You must be able to mention the famous ballet dancers in the world. You don't need to remember the years, but at least their names. When we look at an image in general, you look, first thing you look, wow, it's beautiful. The colors that are co co coordinating within. The lines, is it dark? Is it thick lines? Is it vertical lines? Is it horizontal lines? You look at all those things. The edges, the detail, the contrast, those are the things that you have to identify. Now we have two pictures here, images. The first one, the color is more green and blue and there are shapes, there are thin lines. The second picture with the animals, green, brown, white, yellow, black. We can see their curved lines, we can see their horizontal lines. You must be able to identify the shapes, the colors within a given picture. And that is the focal area for the eye that makes the image to stand out. Now let's look at the development signs of a child that is being abused that a teacher, you as the teacher, can possibly pick up in the classroom. We are the parents at school. The child is in our care. Whatever bothers the child at school is becoming the teacher's problem. So if you, do, if you are not vigilant to pick up these things, this child is going to suffer while in your presence. So as a parent teacher, you are going to be able to pick up. The child becomes, is a top performer, all of a sudden is behind academically. He has learning disorders. The child is socially de de detached, difficulty connecting with others, he's always alone, doesn't want to link up with others. He's got speech disorders. Behavior in general has changed. A very quiet child becomes now the popular naughty one in the classroom. Those are abusive. Uh, a child that is being abused, the signs that you can pick up as a teacher. They are the rest you can go through the manual and get them there. We are having the benefits of playing with dough in the classroom. I already discussed this one. Then we've got the tips. The type of background music you or she can play during the, the different lessons. There are some tips that are given there. So tip one up to tip, tip, uh, tip number 10, you should study. It is in the manual. And then we've got the primary and secondary colors. We know them. When we grow up at the crest, those red, yellow, blue, white, those are colors that are already being introduced at the early stage. You should be able as, um, in the examination to, to, to identify your primary and secondary colors. What are the benefits of integrated with painting? It communicates their emotions or feelings, as, we said, as I said previously. If I'm in a bad mood, I will use darker colors. It allows learners an educational opportunity. Painting helps learners to acquire hand and eye coordination. And then the shapes. What is expected from good audience members that are coming as audiences to a performance? In any setup, when you are invited, you have to be early. So coming on time, arriving early enough to get your seat. 
if you sit upright in a proper position, it shows your interest in what is being uh, um, offered in front of you, the drama. Now, if you sit in a sluggish way, you, it shows that you are not having interest. The same in a classroom when you are teaching as a teacher and this learner is sluggish in the chair, it already portrays that this child does not have an interest in this lesson that you are presenting. So the audiences, good audiences, must portray some of these good behaviors. Taking off a jacket or a coat and putting it on the chair, that is the proper way. And they must not make unnecessary noises. There are some more in the unit that you can find in your manual. You must be able to differentiate between symmetrical balance and asymmetrical balance. Those two. It is also known as a formal balance. The symmetrical one is also known as a formal balance. And the asymmetrical balance involves placement of objects in a way that will allow objects of varying visual weight to balance one another around the fulcrum point. Why is it important for young learners to be involved in different construction activities? We think of fine motor manipulation and strength, fine motor uh, uh, manipulation and strength is being encouraged through thinking and reasoning. And then it also involves the focus and patience. Now you must evaluate how will you lay the groundwork for a successful production. You have to choose the show that you love. You can never choose um, a show that you don't like or come up with uh, introducing a topic that you don't like. Assemble your team of collaborators. Get your design ideas in order. Those are the things, and there are more in your manual. Please study them by heart. Discuss the positive effects of background music. It, it shuts all distractions. When you are there in, your massage, in the massage room and the background music is giving you the mood, you will not be able to be distracted of noises that are outside. You will be relaxing and enjoying the moment. It creates positive frame of mind. It is calming. It makes time to go by fast. It is good for repetitive homework tasks and it helps with reflection. Find more in the manual. You must be able to identify the different techniques of dancing. Free movement to, public, to different type of music, choreograph movement to music, large and small muscle movements, position in space and directionality. Now what are the principles of body conditioning for dance? You have to condition your body for dance. You cannot just jump up and start dancing. I mean, somebody's muscles can also start to, to disconnect or something and then you will be in an uncomfortable uh, situation. So you have to condition it by strengthening it, aligning it, uh, neuromuscular coordination and flexibility to move according to the rhythm of the music. Now, what are the types of lines in visual art? We have the free hand lines that can express the personal energy and mood of the artist. We've got the mechanical lines that can express a rigid control. We've got continuous lines that can lead the eye in a certain direction. Broken lines can express the ephemeral or the insubstantial. And then the thickness, thick lines can express strength. In general, when you look at somebody with thick muscles, you also just imagine strength also in that regard. Now, what are the appropriate choices to make when you are using your voice during drama? The tone of your voice, even in the classroom, 
when you reprimand learners and your tone is not correct, they will not take you serious. So your tone of your voice is important when you do the drama, the volume, loudness. When are you going to speak loud? When are you going to be quiet? When the pitch of the character speak with a higher or a lower pitch? The pace you speak, do you speak slow? Do you stick, speak a bit faster or very fast? How quick? How quickly do you say your lines when you do the drama? Clarity of speaking. Speaking very, very clearly. That is very important. Now what are the criteria that you consider or are you, that you are going to determine the best dancer on the floor when you put the students now on the floor to dance? As a judge, you look at the posture that makes the dancer to look elegant and exude confidence. The timing and the rhythm. Some people just dance for the sake of dancing. They don't consider the rhythm of the music. And then we say, oh, this one is out of line. Now, the basic rhythm refers to the ability to dance on time with the music. You go with the flow of the music. Now, the body line describes the length and stretch of the board of their body's hold. The movement. How do you move with this music? Those are the facts that you criteria that you have to consider when you judge music dancing. Now, what are the type of important uh, the, the type of impact music and rhythm might have on learning? Enhancement of recall. Reduction of stress. That's what music is doing. Multiple modality delivery. So you have to look for the rest in your manual. Disadvantages of artwork in the classroom. How are you going to keep this class intact? Now there are disadvantages when you have learners in your classroom doing art. There is a risk of the class being messy and then a lot of clean up afterwards. Keeping control of these students or the learners can be tough. So you must have your ground rules. For that one, you can divide the, the, the class in smaller groups and then it will be easier to monitor. Keeping learners focused can be tough also because they can derail from what they are supposed to do. Cleaning up can be difficult. Who is doing all this cleaning up? There is the question of where to place wet artwork. You place it outside when the wind, where, where, the, where the wind is going to blow it away. Where are you going to place them to dry after painting? For example, how to help learners wash and clean up in a controlled manner can also be challenging. So those are the disadvantages that you have to focus on. We have collages that fit the curriculum for young learners. What are those? All things that represent who the learner feels they are. It gives body awareness to do a collage on a body part they feel best suit them. A collage of the family and the home. A school theme collage. My favorite animals. Saving water. Those are the kind of collages that fits the curriculum for young learners. You must be able to identify benefits of using clay and play dough in the classroom. The child acquires a sense of his body, her body, by creating representative models, the clay figures. Touch, sight and smell is involved. Using the dough, develop coordination, and it's perfect for the hands and the thumbs and the fingers and the rest of the, of the, of the learner. 
what are the possible jobs? If a learner come now and ask you, teacher with this with this music, you are teaching us music, but what are my possible job opportunities in the music industry? You can become a composer, creative manager, publisher. You should know this by heart to guide the learners. Let us look at the three dimensional forms that can be created. You might get an image, identify it, or you might just be asked to mention the three dimensional forms and then what materials are involved to make that. When we watch TV, in general we see age restriction. There are a lot of them enjoy manual. I only place three here. Before a movie is playing, it displays the age restriction. Is it violent? Is the sex involved? Etc. So you must be able to identify if given and explain what it means. Ways how to improve your child's gross motor skills. Everybody breathe. Combine the senses, move through space. And how are you going to maintain order during a lesson? You must always be prepared. You must set up classrooms that are very clear. You dis discuss the class, you set up the rules, you discuss with the learners, make sure they understand what is expected of them if you are on the same page. Um, um, same, same page. For them not to interpret your rules differently than what you ought to, what you want. To display these rules visible for all the learners to see and they must know about it. Be enthusiastic about your lessons. If you as a teacher is not excited of what you are telling the learners, how will they grasp this and make a positive outcome of it. Be fair with your learners also. Those are the things that the learners are looking at fairness. Am I treated fair? Or how is teacher is favoring one learner better than the others? All those things are coming up. So you should know the maintaining order in your classroom. Now the negative effect of loud music or noise pollution in urban areas, those are everyday problems that we are having. It inf interferes with speech because if there is noise outside and we are talking in here, the, we will not understand each other or hear each other properly. So we may not be able to follow what the other person is saying. Now noise also leads to emotional and behavioral stress. Noise may permanently damage hearing also. So those are the negative effects that you need to know. You need to go and add on them. How can we as parents be involved in school dance and music shows? Attend practices to support. That's what every parent should do when it comes to school activities. We need to support. Be aware of the schedule. The school must send out the schedule of what is happening for that term for the parents to keep up. Learn about what the learners are being taught. Show an interest in the lesson afterwards by chatting about them and attend any meeting with regard to dance and music and volunteer to help where it is needed. Those are ways how parents can be involved. With that, I've come to the end of this. I wish you all the best for the upcoming examinations. Thank you.